guys i am back with another hair product review this is specifically the pantene miracle rescue um it is like an intense rescue shot um this is how it normally looks like i mean obviously with the product completely full in there and it does come with like four of these tiny little things that you just saw um oh, and one of them just fell down but anyways um so, and, <clears throat> so this is a uh, nourishing part of our intense and most concentrated Pantene Pro V formula. Intense rescue shots help to deeply repair signs of hair damage, transforming even the damage and most damage and dry hair into Pantene hair, visibly healthier, shinier, and stronger. Um, I'm trying to figure out where the discrimination part goes. Uh, the, uh, that part right there, if you see it, that means they do want to, and there's another one right there, I do want to see, okay, it's right there at the bottom, but I'll go, um, well, it's the same thing in French, I think, strength against damage versus non-conditioning shampoos, okay, uh, target extreme damage, why is my hand trembling now, Hel helps prevent split ends, um, after washing hair with Pantene shampoo and conditioner, I actually do not have Pantene shampoo and conditioner. Uh, dispense that and pull into your hand. Apply on damp hair and massage from mid and mid length to end, and then rest thoroughly. Um, honestly, I would recommend not to rinse it off right away. I would recommend it to um leave it on for at least a minute or two. But anyways, um. I, okay, let's start with the size itself. Um, if your hair is thick and or long, I would say that one, especially if you have thick, long hair, I would say that one would not necessarily help. If your hair is like, thin and long or like thin and short and or like thick and short, um, like shoulder length or a little bit below shoulder length, then yes, one would be enough. But if it's, it's for thick and long hair, it's not going to be helpful, especially if you're considering like mid length to the ends. Um, then you would probably need more than one, obviously. Um, which is definitely not helpful because this and only four of them. So yeah, the size does matter to a certain extent. Um, secondly, um, as far as strength is concerned i feel like just using four i wouldn't be able to tell i did use it before as well um i see i wouldn't say that you automatically will start seeing the strength in, the, in your hair right away you will have to take it over time to see the difference now i did see a difference in the shine uh the softness shine shininess um and how my hair felt and looked in general, but um, that doesn't mean it goes 100% like that. That means it gives a little boost when it comes out of the shower. Like, otherwise, you know how some people, they do end up need to put, like, something after they come out of the shower to make their hair feel good and stuff. Um, I would still have to put it anyways, um, just a little bit less. Um, but it does help because, you know, less products in your hair, like, after taking a shower which is good, especially since my hair is considered to be more on the finer side and I cannot put like crazy amount of hair products in after taking a shower. So that is like a plus for me personally speaking. Um, as far as split ends con is concerned, nothing can really repair split ends besides trimming it off, honestly, unless uh, otherwise, you know, it can temporarily make it seem like your split ends has fixed or there's no split ends there to begin with. But it's just that the product is coating on it. It's like, it's like gel or grease, like coating on it. Um, kind of like a buildup in a way. So it's like a buildup on your, on, on your strands and it does make it feel like that. And then when your hair gets really greasy and stuff, even after you shampoo and conditioner, then obviously you have to clarify your hair, whether that's with a clarifying shampoo or like a DIY, like, you know, apple cider vinegar diluted in water. And other things, I do not really want to go for um, baking powder diluted in water, just, just my personal opinion. But anyways, um, when you put that on so you can remove all the buildup, 
to get rid of all that greasiness that is just there, not being able to be removed just by sh uh, shampoo, um, then you will realize like how rough your hair is. And that's why sometimes some people kind of start hating clarifying their sh hair because they think that it just messed up their hair when technically it was there all along and the products and like the hard water and everything is just covering their, covering it up, disguising it technically speaking. If, um, so, um, the only best way to not get breakage because of split ends and like the split ends going up the hair, making it look like you have frizziness is just to start trimming it on a more regular basis. I normally get my hair trimmed every four to six weeks. Not, I mean, not four to six weeks, four to six months. Um, I get it done four to six months. Um, there are ways to avoid it. I would try my best to do a separate video on that because, it may not necessarily be long, but I would prefer to do it in a separate video. Otherwise, this video is going to get really long. Um, I'm already kind of talking kind of off topic, but it's helpful for the hair. So, um, trim it off. So, I feel like that being said, this will not necessarily 100% help the split in itself, but it may take a little bit more delayed time in the split in itself because normally if your hair feels dry, it looks dry, it is dry, then yes, it will cause split ends to be a lot easier and quicker. That being said, if your hair does feel soft, shiny, silky, smooth and stuff, like which this product is pretty much aiming, then your split ends will be delayed um, to a certain extent and it's going to be a lot slower. Um, unless if you're doing other things to your hair, like if your hair is rubbing between you and the, on the sofa, the bed, if you move a lot, unless if you're doing some kind of protection, um, if you're using a lot of heat, then yes, obviously you will still see damage, but, um, yeah, there's ways to avoid it. But if your hair feels like that on a regular basis, just because of the products you're using, it kind of slows down the process of split ends. Um, damage. Um, I said it in other hair care products already, videos already, that if it's heat damage, like to the point where your curl patterns are like messed up and you don't see your original curl patterns and your hair just looks really there's like it, it looks a certain way that you know that it's your hair's been damaged by a straightener that um with that with those type of things i that really cannot fix the product of your hair this part wouldn't hit fix your hair but this will be a little bit more helpful in t to those who have bleached hair, just colored hair, um, highlights, low lights, full heads, um, box color, um, you know, stuff like that. You know, you've done perming, um, probably, I would, I probably might even say maybe Brazilian straightening. Um, I don't know, maybe I, I might just throw in there. I don't know. Um, but things like those, which are not really as damaging compared to straightening every day okay bleaching it is somewhat damaging but you can still make it feel a little bit much better and if the bleaching is done by a professional then you should be in good terms like you know at least you're taking care of it and giving the hydration and moisture that it needs so i would recommend it to somebody whose hair is probably more on the drier end and or normal hair Greasy, I won't say greasy, but if your hair is oily, I will first, um, normally your hair greasiness is, is closer to the roots, but if it tends to go further down, then I would not recommend it. But if it's like somewhere close to the ears and not below and your hair just looks dry, then I would definitely recommend it and recommend it to you guys. Um, again, if you get a negative reaction, please stop using it. I personally did like it, but I feel like if I use it more, I will see more noticeable result results. But since it was not too long, I was I wouldn't be able to get the long term effects on this. But the short term effects were definitely beneficial in my opinion. But obviously, everybody's hair is different. Um, even with the same routine, not every single person may have the same exact hair routine, because Environment plays a, has a big part, hair type, texture, hair pattern, 
um, genetics and all that stuff does come into play. It's not only just genetics, so keep that in mind. So other than that, if you guys want me to talk about any other topic, products, and stuff like that, please do let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I'll be looking at both my Instagram pages. Make sure to follow, hit the subscribe button, the bell button, and I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.